Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today, we'll start a new module. We're starting with module eight and our lesson is quiz part one. Today's learning objectives are, number one, to learn nine new words. Number two, to identify the main idea through reading. Number three, to locate details to find five pieces of information through reading. And finally, we're going to locate details to find five pieces of information through listening. Like always, I'd like for you guys to be ready with your materials and to be ready with the student's book open on page 115 and the workbook open on page 101. Let's start our lesson by asking this question. What's the theme of this module? When I say theme, I mean the topic of the whole module. We can guess that from the title. That's right, the whole module is talking about the world around us. So it would be interesting to learn more about people, places, or even things in our world that may be new to us. So get ready for this nice journey throughout this module to learn about new things in our life. All right, let's get to the vocabulary or the new words to start our lesson. Let's take a look at the first three words. Let's see the pictures and guess them. Pretty easy, right? I agree. The first word is, of course, super nice, easy, comfy. Right, wool. Please repeat, wool, wool. Very good. The next word we have, all right, good. Silk, 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 awesome. The last word, can you guess it? We wear it every day. Right, cotton. Please repeat, cotton, cotton. Awesome. Now, all three words, wool, silk, and cotton, we call them all together in one word. They are connected. They are all fabrics. What are they? They are fabrics, different types or kinds of fabrics, right? Okay, now can you guess the part of speech of these words? Like, what are they? Are they a verb? Are they a noun? Are they an adjective? What are they? That's right, they are all nouns. Awesome, very good. Now, I'd like for you guys to try and put these three words in sentences. All right, let's see. I bought a new wool beanie for the winter. My scarf is made of silk. I like to wear cotton clothes in the summer. Pretty easy, right? Now, let's go to words four and five. Let's see the picture. The first word we have is, yep, very good. It's leather. Please repeat, leather, leather. And as you can notice here, although we have an E-A together, we pronounce it with a short E, like weather, right? So we have leather. What else do you notice? That's correct. We notice that the th here is pronounced as th, th. Very good. Let's take a look at the second picture. Right, it's something made of leather. What do we call it? That's right, it's a belt. It's a belt. Please repeat, belt, belt. Awesome. Now, what about the part of speech of each of these words? That's right, they are both nouns as well. So we have the word leather, which is a material, type of material. 
and then we have belt something that is made from this material now try put them in a sentence awesome i have a brown leather belt to go with this outfit right pretty smooth okay let's see the sixth word we have can you guess it correct very good it's silver please repeat silver 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 and like you all remember the er is pronounced as er right okay what's the part of speech of this word what is it again it's a noun very good awesome now try to use it in a sentence right very good look i found an old coin made of silver the last three words we have today are items made of materials such as silver and gold as you know we usually make the jewelry or accessories from these materials silver and gold right so let's try to guess this one here right very good it's a ring please repeat ring 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 very good next we have right necklace very good so could you repeat again necklace 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 as you can see the word necklace is made up of two different words we have neck and then lace joined together to give us necklace awesome lastly we have correct again we have bracelet please repeat bracelet 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 as you all noticed we have the magic e in the word that changed the sound of the letter a from short a to a so we have bracelet very good now what's the function or uh, the type of these words that's right they are all nouns as well so all nine words in this lesson are nouns right could you put them in a sentence very good i like to wear silver jewelry like rings bracelets and necklaces awesome all right now let's go practice and check our understanding I'd like for you guys to go to the workbook page 101 exercise number one as you can see from the head of the question we are going to read the questions look and complete the crossword super easy right you'll just read the question look at the picture and then fill in with the correct spelling of each word now pause the video for a bit answer individually and then check with me later all right let's check so number one is cotton number two silver three bracelet four silk five leather six necklace seven wool eight belt and finally number nine ring awesome job everyone good job now that we have an idea of today's lesson let's get to the reading right so now how about playing a little game let's go to the students book page 115 115 and as you can see from the head of the question we're going to do the quiz we're going to read and circle then listen and check our answers together so can you read and guess the answers by yourselves great pause the video for a bit read answer alone and then check with me later
two. Do the quiz. Read and circle. Then listen and check your answers. Materials quiz. Then and now. One. People made these with wood and used them to eat food like soup. C. Spoons. Two. People use this material to make sandals, clothes, and even buckets. C. Leather. Three. In 1849, people traveled to California to find this material in the ground. A. Gold. Four. We still use this material to build houses today. B. Wood. Five. People wear this around their waists. They usually use leather to make it. C. Belt. Six. Today, people use this material to make jewelry, forks, knives, and spoons. A. Silver. So, did you guess correctly? Okay. Let's see. Materials quiz. Then and now. Number one. People made these with wood and used them to eat food like soup. So it turned out to be spoons, right? Now, number two, people used this material to make sandals, clothes, and even buckets. And the answer is right, leather. Number three, in 1849, people traveled to California to find this material in the ground. And the answer is gold. Very good. Number four. We still use this material to build houses today. Of course, it can be silk or silver, right? It has to be wood, right? Number five. People wear this around their waists. They usually use leather to make it. Obviously, it's the belt. Very good. Number six. Today, people use this material to make jewelry, forks, knives, and spoons. And the answer is silver. Great job. Now, if you all guessed it correctly, then you guys are definitely awesome. Good job. All right, now let's move back to the workbook page 101, exercise number two. We're going to listen to two dialogues and write T for true or F for false. And as you all know, before doing any listening activity, we should read the questions first to get an idea of what we're listening to and what to look for, right? So in dialogue one, we have number one, Diane is showing Sue something she has made. And number two, Diane made the hat with different colored wool. And number three, Sue made a leather necklace. In dialogue two, we have number four, the gloves Kate is wearing are brown. Number five, the gloves are silk. Number six, Kate's mom bought the gloves at the shopping center. So I'd like for you guys to listen and then pause the video for a bit to answer and then check with me afterwards. Workbook, module 10, quiz two. Listen to two dialogues and write T for true or F for false. One. Look at this, Sue. Do you like it? Um, well, I don't know what to say, Diane. Well, say something. It took me all weekend to make this hat. Oh, really? Do you like it? It's, um, really colourful. Did you make it with wool? Yes, in all the colours of the rainbow. I see. Oh, what's this thing here? It's a necklace, of course. I made that with leather. 
and I put some wool on it too. With all the colours of the rainbow again? Well, yes. That way, it matches the hat. Do you think Mum will like them? Ah, they're for Mum. How nice. Two. Hi, Gail. How are you? Hi, Kate. I'm fine, thanks. Oh, I really like your gloves. I love brown. Are they new? Well, actually, they're my mum's, you see. Are they silk? Um, I don't think so. I think they make them from cotton and recycled plastic because... Recycled plastic? Amazing. So they're eco-friendly. Where did she get them? From that new shop that opened at the shopping centre? No, Gail. You can get them at any supermarket because they are gardening gloves. That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, oops. Still, they're really nice. Even for gardening. Oh, Gail. All right, let's see where your answer is. True, true, false. True, false, false. Really? Wow. Great job. Awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. You've done great throughout this lesson. All right, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you guys learned new things about materials and what we use them for. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.